fell at my feet in the skateboard park. He was a strange sort of lad, lanky, pasty complexion, his breath smelt of vodka. I knew his father before he left to move down south after rumours of an affair. It's okay being unemployed, Mike said. I tried working in a cake factory, but it was too boring, putting cherries on them tiny little cakes. What do you do now, I asked. Oh, I go to the beach with me mates drinking. When the bottles are empty, we play target practice, you know, we smash them up. Is that all you do, I asked. That's when Mike told me about Donna, the girl in the cafe. I go in with me mate Ian and we drink loads of them cappuccinos. Trouble is, I don't even like them and I owe him stacks of money now. Is this girl Donna pretty, I asked. Yeah, she has amazing hair. I was curious. So the next day I popped into the cafe for a drink. A large woman in a hairnet was bawling, Donna, get your ass out here. Customers are waiting. A girl emerged through the beaded curtain, smoothing her plucked eyebrows. The ringlets down her back were dyed blonde and her eyes seemed glued up with makeup. She cleared the tables with pouting purple red lips. Do you know Mike, I asked. Ooh she said, grasping a cigarette packet in her pocket. You know, the young man who comes in with his friend Ian. Oh yeah, she said vaguely, that one with the greasy hair. After that, I met Mike regularly at the park. He told me the police had raided his house for drugs, but he wasn't using, although he thought his mum was. But listen, I said, wash your hair, get some clean clothes and I'll give you some money. Go in and buy a drink for Donna, you know, just say hello. I can't shower at home, said Mike. The attachment's broken. We're washing in the kitchen sink. Go to the swimming pool, I said. The showers there are really hot. Have a swim while you're at it. Here's a couple of quid. Several weeks went by and I didn't see Mike. <coughs> Occasionally I saw Donna smoking outside the cafe, a mobile pinned to her ear. Then one day in late summer, Mike came bouncing through the air off the concrete run with his skateboard miraculously attached to his feet. Hello, I said. How did you get on? You mean Donna? said Mike. She started to notice me, like, gave me a free coke when that old bitch weren't looking. Ian soon scarped. He said, you're taking the piss you are. You don't fucking need me no more. The best thing is the swimming. I'm learning to swim. Me nan's paying. The water, it's bloody great. One day I want to get a job there. You know, life saving. Thank you.